triangle leg problem. Here's our problem. Triangle XYZ is shown below. What is the length of line segment XY? This was one of the toughest problems on the simulated test. Nearly 60% of my 7th period Algebra 2 class got this one correct, but not any other class got over 30% correct. Before charging in and pushing calculator buttons, I like taking a look at the problem to figure out what we have, what's really going on. They're trying to confuse us with these answers in square root form. To me, it might help to see what these square roots are to see which answers are reasonable. Since 8 squared is 64, answer A is a little over 8 centimeters. The square root of 33 is a little less than 6. The square root of 75 is a little less than 9. And the square root of 116 is a little under 11. We need to figure the length of this line segment, now highlighted in red, xy. Based on the numbers calculated, j at 11 centimeters is definitely too big for segment xy, so we can cross it off. Also, answer g at about 6 centimeters looks to be too small to be correct, so we cross that one off as well. To use the Pythagorean theorem to find segment xy, we need to find the length of this segment here in blue below. We have one leg here, four, but we need that one below in blue. To find the blue segment, we can figure it out if we find the short leg of this little triangle here on the right. And this length is going to be determined by using the square root of 5 squared minus 4 squared. And that's going to be 25 minus 16, which equals 9. And the square root of 9 is 3, so this little side of the little triangle to the right is 3. And since this side is 3, that makes the blue segment 7 centimeters in length. So this red side, the hypotenuse, is going to be the square root of quantity 7 squared plus 4 squared. And that simplifies to the square root of 49 plus 16. So that's going to be the square root of 65. And that's answer F, our correct answer. This has been Triangle Leg Problem. Thanks for viewing.